Hey guys, it's Ashleta. Welcome back to my channel, Lestrange. I um I did a video this morning, but I deleted it because it wasn't all that grand. Um, I only had like 15 minutes to get ready. Oh, I think 12 or 13 minutes. And what I did is I tried out some of these new Too Faced peaches and cream. I hate every one of them. I hate them. So I deleted the video because it was horrific. But look. Why does it not look as bad? It, it doesn't look as bad on this as it does in person. Um, let me pull out my little broken mirror. Alright, so matte foundations. I don't know why I keep trying them. I'm oily, but for whatever reason, matte foundations look awful on me. See? Oh, you can see it. See how it caked up on my nose? I got the shade Vanilla for the foundation, and it's too dark. Um, this sucked all the moisture for, of, out of my life. Like, it sucked it completely out. I didn't get the white spots. And this nearly strangled me. And it's messy. But it's, I don't know. I love my La Mercier. I'm an addict. So, unfortunately, normally I don't return shit. But I found this cheaper on Too Faced's website. So I'm returning it back to Sephora. And I had ordered some stuff from Too Faced on their website. So I'm going to try that. Normally I don't return. Like I give this away. But this is a lot of money to be given away. And I'm not wasting it. Because these were more than $30 a piece. Like this is over $90. This is like $100 bucks right here. Because I think they were $32, $34 a piece. No. But I did get, I don't know what I got. Oh, I love Tarte. I realize I'm not a Too Faced fan. I don't even like, I have a Too Faced eyeshadow palette. I don't even like it. I don't even use it. I don't even show it on here. I'm a Tarte fan. I love their foundations. I love their powders. I love their lippies. I love their mascaras. I love their eyeliners. So, yeah, I got to figure out how to return this. I've never done a return to Sephora, and now I just became a VIB. I don't know if they're going to, like, kick me out of the VIB program now that I made it, because this probably got me there, but they're probably going to take it back, and I'm okay, because I'd rather have my money back than to be stuck with some shit that doesn't work. I even tried, like, I had to take my foundation and reapply it, and I had to add a little bit of a lightener, but either way, the first time applying it um, without using a lightener, it was like streaks. I had foundation in some spots, some in no spots. It was awful. And I wish, I mean, I had 12 minutes of talking like while I was doing my makeup. Um, otherwise, I would have like kept it. But this is more important than the other video. Um, I was going to remove it and reapply just to show you. Let me do that. Let me do half. I just realized my glove is broke. My gloves are not in here. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the Comfort Matte Foundation. So I'm just going to do half my face. For First of all, it's messy. And it's too dark. So, um... That's all I'm going to do. Half Z face. All right. This is just one pump. And y'all saw. And you see there's no coverage. And look at that. By the way. My nose is feeling because I did a chemical peel. But look at that. I put my pigs out. All right. So... I wasn't going to do another layer because I've already had to do like 10 pumps. And they're going to be like, ma'am, you used half the bottle 
before returning it. Well, it takes a lot of product to cover this big old face, apparently, with this. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's still not full coverage and it is kind of streaky. And it shows texture. Look at that. It's very drying, um, but I found, figured out why it was looking like it was. I used the mattifying spray first and then applied it. I, I, I did the mattifying spray first because I, um, instead of using a primer, I like to use setting spray. So I, I did this to dry it and then I um, applied it and that was too, too dry. And then I added this. So we're going to add this and then we're going to spray. And by this, um, I'm using the lid of the Peach Perfect Too Faced um, powder. And it has this lid and it's very messy. Like, I don't know, it didn't do it. It, it shoots out powder. I thought I had paused it. My bad. So half the face. I'm gonna use this like I normally would. And then normally I do this. Alright, so it's so drying. Alright, so it's not as streaky as it was. And I had to, because it is darker than my skin color. There's nothing neutral about this. It's orange. Um, there's, anyways, I removed it, reapplied it, and this morning, um, almost was late for work because of this foundation. And, um, it mixes and looks really good when you mix in a, like, illuminating lighter or foundation. Don't get me wrong. It really does. But, to make it sink into the skin and look good, um, I did wear this from, I finished right at 8, right before 8 a.m. Because I had to be at work. And I hustled it to work. Well, around 12 is when it started breaking down. So, 8 was at 4 hours. Um, by 6, y'all, you know, is when y'all first saw me in the video. I didn't like it. So, yeah. Don't waste your coins. I'm oily. And I don't have lines on my forehead. But... That foundation, well, do I? Anyways, that foundation wrinkles up and immediately it makes me look like I have lines. But I don't. I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know what kind of skin you need. Definitely not dry. I'm oily all the way through here. So, um, honestly, it's like putting on a thin layer of... A drier formulation of Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I'm not a fan of Tarte Shape Tape either. I do like it a little bit, but not too much. So, yeah. Um, I gotta figure out these returns. Destructions. They said I would have a returns label in here, but I don't. So... I don't know. I just feel like this is like oxidizing my skin. Like I still feel like you can see it. 
but that's it you guys um it's not worth the hype and i was going to purchase the what is it let me think of it i was going to try the fancy foundation but i heard it's so drying that um uh, anyways i can't do it i'm still in love with the ive saint laurent so if you are combination I don't, I don't know you better be like no combination oily you gotta be fucking oily to use this shit um if your skin is mature or maturing i don't recommend it it's gonna show everything um but that's it i love you guys and i'll ttl you later don't forget to like subscribe comment and share cat